everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. All you do is copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we're in a world of blocks. This is Minecraft yoga. It's our first day here and we've got to get ready for what lies ahead. Now, it's very important that we survive here in Minecraft, so we have to build a shelter, a house. Coming up to stand, jump your feet wide, take your arms wide and bring them up above your head. Coming into house pose, very good. Now we can protect ourselves from all the mobs of monsters that spawn at night. Taking yourself all the way forward, see if you can grab hold of your ankles and then clomp them like a monster. Ooh. Coming all the way up. Now, to get ready, let's spin into our Minecraft skin. Take your arms wide and begin to spin from side to side. Oh, you can even close your eyes if you like. Wow, that's amazing. Now we jump our feet into the middle and... Oh my goodness, I've got my skin on. Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? Ah, I wonder how we can move. Let's lift our arms. Oh, yeah, and lower them. Ooh, <laughs> that's fun. I wonder if we can do any yoga. Let's turn to the side. Here we go. Now, let's fold all the way forwards. Oh, now I wonder if we can take our hands down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wonder if we can touch our toes. Let's reach down and oh, yeah, oh. Oh, we did it! And come all the way back up again. Ah, and put your arms down. Ooh, and turn to the front. There we go. Hmm, it's going to be quite interesting doing yoga wearing this. Maybe we can just pretend we're wearing the skin. Let's shimmy and shake it off. <laughs> That's better. Now you can see me again and I can see you. We begin by looking up to the sky and seeing the sun's out. So we wave and say, hello, sun. Reaching all the way up and say, hello, sun. This is brilliant. It means we've got plenty of daylight to collect all the things we need to craft. Now, let's have a look around at where we are. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, it looks like we're on an island, surrounded by an ocean. There are trees and rocks and all sorts of things. Plenty of what we need to get crafting. We lower our hands and we have to build a shelter, don't we? So look around and we see trees. Coming into tree pose, bringing one foot on top of the other, your hands together and grow your tree up nice and tall. Now. I wonder how strong are the trees here in Minecraft. I'm going to come and try and blow you down. You stay tall and strong. Here I come. Doopy doopy doo doo. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so good at balancing. Let's try our tree on the other side. Coming to stand with the other foot on top now, using your heel, balancing on your toe. Bring your hands together. Oh, try not to wobble and come up tall like a very tall tree. And can you open your Minecraft tree branches? Very good, everyone. Now we've only got our bare hands to chop these trees down. So let's come into wood chopper pose. Turning to the side, spread your legs nice and wide and crisscross your fingers behind your back. Stretch your arms up behind you and then fold forward as you chop. One, two, three, chop. And up. One, two, three, chop. And up. Last time, one, two, three, chop! And all the way up. Very good, everyone. Now we've collected lots and lots of blocks of wood. Coming into a block of wood pose. Down onto your knees, tuck yourself up into a tiny block shape. Ooh, 
Brilliant. Now we need to turn these blocks into planks of wood. So take your hands forward, come up onto your hands and knees and stretch one foot back, two feet back and come into plank pose. Pull in your tummy nice and tight in your plank pose. Very good. Now with our planks, we can make a very important thing, a crafting table. Coming into table pose, coming to sit on your bottom with your knees bent, your feet flat, and your hands behind you and lift your bottom up coming into your crafting table pose. Very good. Now we can make all the tools we need. Let's start with a pickaxe. We need to make some sticks. Coming to stand in stick pose. Standing with your toes together, your hands up above your head, making yourself as pointy as you can. Very good everyone. Now we balance two planks on top of our stick to make a pickaxe in a triangle shape coming into dog pose. Onto all fours, hands wide, tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky, coming into your dog pose, yay! Now we've made a pickaxe, we need to go and find some coal. Coming up to stand, we find a giant stone wall. Hmm, there could be some coal in here. We jump our feet wide and our arms wide, making a giant stone wall shape, very good. Now we've got our pickaxe, we dig at the stone wall. Turning to the other side now, stretch your legs wide, crisscross your fingers, stretch them out behind you and fold forward after three with a dig. One, two, three, dig! And up, and again, one, two, three, dig! And up, last time, one, two, three, dig! And go all the way up again. Very good, we found some coal and we've managed to dig ourselves a cave. This can be our shelter. Coming to stand with your legs wide and your hands above your head in your cave pose. Well done everyone. Now with our coal and our sticks, we're going to make some torches. Let's come into candle pose. Lying down on your back. Stretch your arms out wide and lift your legs up to the sky and wiggle waggle your toes like flames. Very good. We put the torches up on the walls of our cave and we've got light. Well done everyone. Now look outside our cave. We see some sheep coming into sheep pose. Sitting all the way up on your hands and knees. Let's wiggle waggle our tails and let's go meh. We could do with some wool so that we can make a bed. Sleeping is very important in Minecraft. It's how we stay safe at night. We sit on our bottoms, we bring our hands together and we say ba a stay to thank the sheep. Ready? Ba a stay. Brilliant. We take the wool and we add it to a block of wood to make a bed. Coming into bed pose. Turning to the side again, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you and lift up your bottom, coming into bed pose. Excellent, now we'll be safe at night. <gasps> Look outside everyone, there are some mushrooms. Mmm, we can get some dinner with them. We come up to stand and we fold halfway forwards as we pick the mushrooms, picking them out of the ground, collecting lots and lots and lots. Fantastic, now we stand up tall. We need to craft a bowl so that we can put our mushrooms inside. Coming into bowl pose. Lying on your bellies, put your hands under your shoulders as you bring your feet towards your bottom. Then reach around and see if you can grab your feet. Now breathe in as you lift up. Whoop. Very good, in your bowl pose. We put the mushrooms inside and we can make a mushroom stew. Mm -mm. Coming up to sit. Now, we need to make ourselves a door so that we're secure at night. Let's come into door pose. High up on your knees, take your leg to the side and your arm up to the sky. Let's see if it works by opening it. Oop. Very good. Now let's see if it closes. Two knees together, leg to the side, arm to the sky and close it. Ooh. Brilliant, that's made good use of our planks. Now we're inside, we look outside and we see that the sky is turning from orange to pink to purple. It's dusk. Now we're inside, we build ourselves a chest so that we can put away all the things that we've collected. Coming into chest pose, 
sitting on your bottoms, joining the soles of your feet together, holding onto your toes and close your chest down, putting your head towards your toes. Fantastic. Now we look up because outside it's night time. This is when all the mobs of monsters spawn. We've got to be ready for them. So let's talk about what we're going to see. There might be some creepers. Creepers coming up to stand up on your tippy toes, everyone, because creepers like to come up to you and blow themselves up with a kaboom. After three, let's jump and kaboom. One, two, three, kaboom. Oh, we stand up. If we see one of these, we need to run away. Run! Now, there are also zombies that come out at night. Coming to stand to the side, roll all the way forwards and slowly roll yourself up to stand. Ooh. And bring your arms up in front of you. Turn to the front and like a zombie, tilt from side to side. Ooh. Zombies have lots of friends and they often bring them with them. So we need to hide like little mice if we see the zombies coming into mouse pose on your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little ball. Ooh. Coming up to sit again. Now there might often be some skeletons around and they have bows and arrows. Let's come into archer pose. Sitting with your legs out long, take two fingers and put them between your big toe and your second toe. Bring your elbow back towards your ear and see if you can reach forward to your other foot and fire your arrow. Ready? One, two, three, pew! We better be careful. We don't want to meet any skeletons. There are also witches coming into witch pose, standing up onto your craggy toes and your fingers and maybe a craggy nose. Ooh. They like to cast spells and use magic. Ooh. And there are spiders. Let's come into spider pose. Standing with your feet just a little bit wider, bend your knees and bring your hands down in between your feet. Now ticker, 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 ticker your hands round to the outside and rest your feet, your legs over the top of your arms in spider pose. Now spiders like to come in from above. Oh no, look, one's coming in now. But there's a skeleton and he's shooting it with his bow and arrow. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long, take your other two fingers between your big toe and your second toe and bring your elbow back. Then reach forwards and grab your other foot and watch the skeleton fire its arrow to the spider. One, two, three, pew! The spider keels over into happy baby pose. Lying on your backs, everyone, holding onto your feet in happy baby pose. Ah! Well, this is good news. This means we've collected some string. Woohoo! Sitting up tall, crossing your legs, let's roll the string up in front of us. Ooh. And let's put it in our chest. Ooh. We need to go to sleep so that we don't have any more danger tonight. So we huddle ourselves down into a comfy position oh, in our lovely beds and we feel safe. Oh. In the morning, we wake up and it's raining. Coming up to sit on your knees, pit a patter on your faces and on your heads. Oh my goodness me, this is exciting. It's daylight again, so we're safe. So we decide to build a boat. We're gonna go fishing today. Sitting on your bottoms, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Yay, in boat pose. Give me a wave, yay. Now who's this coming to see us? It's our friend, Stampy Cat. Coming into cat pose, everyone, on all fours. Fingers spread wide, tuck your toes, arch your back up and look into your belly button and then lower your belly down and wiggle waggle your tail and go meow, meow. He's brought a treat for us for breakfast. Some cake, mmm. Sitting on your bottoms, crossing your legs, rub a hand on your tummy pat your head at the same time as you eat your delicious cake. Can you do it the other way? Rub your hand and pat your head. Very good. 
Look, the sun's coming out and it makes a rainbow appear in the sky. Let's come into rainbow pose. High up on your knees, everyone. Take your arms wide and drop down onto one side. Stretch your leg out and reach your arm up and over your ear, coming into your beautiful rainbow pose. Now we sit with Stampy and he knows an awful lot about Minecraft. Coming into rainbow pose the other way. Two knees together arms wide, drop down and stretch your leg out. Reach your arm up and over your ear, coming into a full rainbow. Very good, everyone. We wonder whether Stampy could ever craft a yoga class into Minecraft's world. That would be funny, wouldn't it? If you were playing Minecraft and you came across a yoga class. Hmm. Along comes a horse. Coming into horse pose, high up on your knees, step one knee forward and lift your arms up. Then fold forwards and lift your chest as you go. Stampy saddles up. He lifts himself up, turns himself round, drops down onto the other knee as he says, meow, I stay, and off he trots. Very good, everyone. Now we better get in our boat so that we can get some fish. Sitting in your boat pose, lifting up one leg, lifting up two, lifting up one hand, lifting up no hands, and give me a wave. Yay! Using the string from our spider, we catch a fish. Point your toes down and drop down onto your elbows. Now pop, 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 pop your chest to the sky and look up to the ceiling or the sky above you like a fish. Yay! We sit up tall. This is great news. We've got a fish for our supper. Now, back on the land, we find we're being followed by a pack of wolves. Let's come into dog pose. On your hands and knees, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky, coming into your dog pose. Now, the wolves are our friends and they howl at the skeletons to scare them away. Coming all the way forward, come down onto your belly, untuck your toes and then peel your shoulders up off the ground and see if you can make your legs really strong and lift them up too. And then look up to the sky and howl. Ow! Thank you, wolves. We get back to our shelter where, after eating our fish supper, we're ready to have another sleep. We've survived our first two days and nights here in Minecraft and we feel very proud of ourselves. So we lie ourselves down, our legs and arms long, and we come to rest. What an adventure that was. It's been amazing here in Minecraft world. It makes us understand how things are made. When you look around you at all the natural things in the world and how you put them together to make the tools and the things that you need. It makes us realize that we don't need very much. A house, warmth, friendship, food and water makes us feel really grateful for all of the other stuff that we have in real life. Maybe when we look around now, we can understand how those things were made. The work that went into them. And we can feel very grateful. Very grateful for all that we have. And now, it's time to wake up. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees into our chest and we roll over onto our side, opening our eyes, coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts, just like we started. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was awesome. Thanks for coming to Minecraft World with me and helping me survive my first couple of nights. You were amazing. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye.